Hi guys, welcome to the Dad Gardener, episode 38. And today on the show, we're going to um, talk about a little bit of weeding. Um, we're going to move this olive tree and we're going to weed um, a couple of weeds using this weeding tool. So I'll put some gloves on. Why are you gloves? Well, oh, just because I don't like getting my hands dirty and I'm a bit of a wuss. That's all. Um, so the idea with one of these is to yeah, weed it out. Weed it out. Yeah. Weed there. I'm going to dig most of this stuff out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much? Put that these in for the here. chooks. A bit later on. How much seed on the bottom? Daddy, do it on the bottom. Yeah, I'm using my phone to film. Do it on the bottom, Daddy. Yeah. I want to thank everyone for uh, following me and liking my video. Mm -hmm. Dig this out. Yeah, we're gonna dig that out. How is this? Oh, I don't know. It's gonna be a big job. So, Look. I'm gonna need not just this. Do you think this will dig that out? Yeah, this no, <laughs> you just want to try it. We'll be here all day. Yeah. Hey. It's what about we get this one out here? This is annoying. This weed here. I got some sticks. Um, we've got a potato patch here. And this weed has grown right through all of our mesh. Oh, that weed be big. Yeah, as you can see, we've got some potatoes. Here. Yeah. Oh. We'll cover that a bit over a bit later on. We'll come back uh, to talking about potatoes in, other, in another video, but it's not why we're here today. really annoying so in saying that um, these are really Daddy, for flying, bird. flying birds yeah. um, in saying that these are really for broad leaves these weeding tools so but they, they're okay to use yeah. them everywhere so alrighty thanks for watching the weeding um, we'll come back um, we'll show you the digging out of the tree all right. Whoa, yeah. Well, you can see after digging a little bit, I haven't even rattled this bloke's cage. He's uh, he's going to take a bit of work to get out, and uh, we'll come back. Just want to show everyone what this um, olive tree's done to this wine barrel. Um, as you can see, it's not a real big tree, but uh, underneath, um, his, uh, his roots have uh, rotted the wood and rotted right through the wine barrel. And um, I was going to re reuse the uh, wine barrel for raspberries, but uh, I don't think I'll be doing that um, at this point. Um, so I'll just concentrate on getting the tree out and uh, see how we go from there. Buddy's trying to get the tree out and give me a hand there. And uh, that's it, mate. Give me a hand. I need all the help I can get. Nice? Hmm? Nice? Yeah? No? Good. You like olives? I like olive. Olive leaves. Oh, hey, thanks mate, thanks for your help, alright we'll continue to get this tree out and uh, we'll come back to you, got him out, he's not that bad, um, we'll put him over, I'm going to take him out the front in a moment, 
but uh, I've actually got out of jail here. Um, the bottom of the barrel is stuffed. Uh, I'm going to use that soil, put him back in, and it's going to be okay for my raspberries. But they're only going to be in there for 12 months just to get them going, and then we're going to probably throw this wine barrel away. Um, he's he's seen better days, unfortunately. So, uh, yep. Okay, so we're back with the raspberries. Um, my wife bought these raspberries. They're looking. As you can see, they haven't got a really big root system and they need to be planted straight away. Um, normally, uh, I would cut the tops off, but because of the time of the year, which is um, nearly into our summer, I'm not going to do that at all because it'll put them into shock too much. I'm just going to plant them and give them a really good water. Um, it's probably a little bit late to be planting at this time of the year. So we'll just get them in and uh, hopefully there's about nine there. So hopefully at least six out of the nine will, um, will grow. them or anything don't want to don't want to feed them now because they're already in enough shock they're out of the ground so the best thing is to do plant them give them a good drink see how they take off give them a good 12 months in this pot this barrel I should say um, the barrel's not going to last much longer than 12 months so we'll give them a go in a in a wine barrel for 12 months before we plant them out on into the ground. Watch chooks don't get in here because they're uh, they'll love this freshly dug soil as well. So I'll give them a good drink. And we'll come back. Have a cup of tea. Okay, so I've planted them and given them a really good flooding of water. Uh, we'll keep everyone updated in the next few days, see their progress. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, that's goodbye from me. Follow my Instagram page, my YouTube channel, and my Facebook page. Thanks for subscribing and. Uh, Really um, look forward to seeing you and everyone next time. Thank you.